As specialists in equine hoof care, farriers must develop both a veterinarian's knowledge of horse anatomy and the skills of a blacksmith. Even though we no longer travel by horse, the job of a farrier is as relevant as ever. Uh, my name is Jeff Vineyard. I'm a farrier. Basically, trimming and shoeing, maintaining horses' hooves for proper movement. I cover about nine or ten counties, all in southwest Ohio. I've been around horses since I was five years old. I was a horseman before I was a farrier, and that makes a difference in the way I handle horses and my knowledge of horses. I've been a professional farrier for 20 years. It's a very old profession with a lot of tradition. We still shoe horses and trim horses every day. People that I've talked to go, you still do that? And it's like, yep, still a thriving profession. Since I haven't done your horse before, go ahead and walk him down there and back okay. and so I can watch him. Well, the first thing I do is watch them walk to me, and I want to see how they walk, make sure that their feet aren't turned in or out, and then visual check their legs, check their conformation. I like the shoulder angle uh, where the neck and the shoulder come together. I would like the pastern and hoof angle to pretty much match that. And then from the front, uh, you want the leg to be come straight out of the shoulder and straight down to the ground. A horse can be pigeon toed or it can be toed out. And in the rear end, they can be cow hocked, which means their hocks are really close together and their back feet stick out. Or they can be bow legged and, and uh, their hocks will be wider than their feet. All those issues cause tendon problems most of the time. So we try to correct those things and get the foot balanced and and they can walk off straight. Then I check their hoof to make sure that they're wearing properly so I can adjust the way I trim the foot. I check to see how they've maintained their foot. If it's cracked or has chips or whatever, or if it's wearing in a different angle than it should be. And then uh, pick the foot up and start my trim. My knife, it's a hoof knife, it's got a curl on the end. And that's used for trimming the sole and the frog and cleaning that part up, uh, taking all the dead stuff out. I have a pair of nippers that I use to trim the hoof wall and get it level. And then Use a rasp to smooth it all up, file it down. It doesn't matter whether it's a show horse, um, a horse that's used in the arena for chasing cattle, or out on the farm, or trail riding, or backyard pet. They, I treat them all the same. I put care into every horse I do. I do every single horse the exact same way, with the same care, skill, everything. It doesn't matter what horse it is. That's the way I do them. The hardest part of my job is telling a horse owner that their horse has a serious lameness. The owner always thinks that they could have done something different. It's just really hard to tell somebody their beloved pet has a serious problem. What's the best part of my job? Just getting those horses back to usefulness and soundness, or being able to. I've been kicked more times than I can remember. 
A horse is amazing in the way that they can pick up on little things. If you're nervous around a horse, a horse will pick up on that and then they'll become nervous because they're going, why are you nervous? What do we need to be nervous about? And if you're calm and relaxed, then they'll be calm and relaxed. Which makes my job a lot easier because then they're not dancing around and worried about what's going on. Some horses will lean and lean really heavy on you. If they're really relaxed, they'll almost go to sleep. Some that are a little on the ornery side, they can be relaxed and still wanna play games and push on you. And I always tell them they got three other legs, they can stand on that. They don't need to be standing on the farrier. One thing about picking a horse's foot up, a horse's only defense is flight. So to be able to pick a horse's foot up and take one of their only defense mechanisms away from them, it's just amazing that we're able to do that. That they trust you enough to be able to take that away from them and to hold their foot up. It's, it's kind of neat that we're even able to do any of this type of work. You gotta be on your game every single day for every single horse, no matter whether it's a show horse or some backyard pet. Anything can happen any day. Sometimes it doesn't take much when a 1,200 pound horse gets into you. I'm 52. I've told everybody that I'll probably shoot until I'm in my 70s, but if I can hold it physically, then I'm gonna, no, I'm not thinking about quitting.